If you like the content today, consider becoming a Patreon supporter of Street Smart Swing. When you do that, you get access to my bonus online swing dance content, where you can learn how to master Lindy Hop with the simplest approach on earth. I'll see you in class. <laughs> Woo! Jamin here, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any videos. We are going to an event called Winter Black. And I'm gonna be taking a look at a Jack and Jill competition. This is lead and follow, just a lot of improvisation on the spot. And generally it's with live music or with canned music with a DJ. So I'm not quite sure how this is gonna go down, but I'm really excited about it. And I can't wait to give you guys my thoughts afterward. All right, here we go. I really like how people are up in their game when it comes to the graphics transitions and just the overall aesthetic I just love that all right we got a circular format I like this oh like that slide that was good coming out that was great And it's a live band too, that's good. Yeah, this is fun guys. This is fun. All right, that was the first couple. Second couple coming out. So far, this couple seems to have just a little bit more control than the last couple I saw, but I think I still liked uh, the style and overall ideas of the first couple. I felt like it was a, a little bit more original. Yeah, there we go. All right. That, that, that last bit made up the difference. And now I've got to put them in first place. They uh, really nailed a special move in time. Nice. Yeah, the audience loves to get involved when they can clearly see breaks in the, the movement. I love watching that. And sometimes it's moves that aren't that big of a deal. The audience just goes crazy. Okay, here we go. Hey! Alright, so this couple has a mix of the first two couples that went. Strong control of the technique, but taking a lot of risk creatively. I like that. I like that. <laughs> All right, this looks like round two. Let's see what happens differently. Okay, yeah, so they have shorter sets on the second time. Um, as opposed to the first, this <laughs> couple was like, get out of the way! <laughs> 
They just do the, the, the mean mugging stare. I love that. All right, let's see. So far, everybody's first set was a little better than their second set. Now this couple, I'm enjoying their second set more. I thought they felt a little silly on the first one where they're just kind of doing silly things. Okay, man, this is getting good. Really competitive. There wasn't one couple so far that had really solid sets together. I think they had either one set that was better at the beginning or their second set yielded a little bit more advantage. But overall, this is gonna be tricky to look at. Really tricky to judge. <laughs> yes. Man, give it up for the band, too. Wow. Yes. Let's talk about this one. Okay, guys, this was a great competition. It really was. There, there were multiple couples who had strengths in certain areas, and they struggled in other areas. And I think the majority of the couples either had a good first set or a good second set, but they didn't have a good both sets, <laughs> if you will. It was really interesting to see that. There was only one couple that I felt had equally good sets, the first one and the second one. And really, this is the crux of this particular competition today that I'm judging. It, it wasn't so much what everyone was doing individually. It was more about what they were not doing in contrast to everybody else. Now, I will say every couple had something that was more unique uh, to them. They either had a really good stopping moment or a really good flashy move placed in perfect timing. But I will say every couple had that, but the problem was is not everyone could execute over the entire set of what they had to offer. It was first set was just kind of like either okay and second set was awesome or vice versa. And so I think the winner for me was the couple. She had a yellow shirt on and he had like a blue shirt with gray pants. You know, you could see as they come out, they're just doing some of the traditional silly moves. And of course, you know what's coming. They're gonna go right into a swing out or get something going. And here we go. And this gives me the idea of how they move technically. And so far, they remind me of the couple that he had the white shirt and she had the red on. Really good technique. That's solid, but what I'm looking at here in there, this is the first set. I'm saying, okay, show me something unique. Ah, there it is. Oh, wow, they're doing something in concert together. That's some moment that I can remember with this couple. So at first I thought, this is kind of bland and technical and boring. But then there was a moment I needed to wait as an audience member to see what they were gonna do in time and the music that was special. And of course they nailed it in that moment. Now, what was even more impressive as compared to everyone else, there was this moment where their second set, they came out and they're doing, you know, just some basic close position movements, some Charleston, 
but it's also letting me see how well connected they are. There's no rush to try to do something fancy and botch it, but there you go. They're, they're doing some more complex Charleston movements that require a little bit more discipline. So in the midst of them not trying to stand out too much and uh, playing it a little safer, they were able to highlight both the technique and their special move more than everybody else. So this is really special and it goes back to that idea of less is really more. And I applaud them for that. I don't know their names, not quite sure uh, who they are, but I got to tell you, I enjoyed watching that and I'm going to watch it again. <laughs> so what did you guys think about this competition? Who did you like and who do you think uh, should have won in your opinion? Let me know in the comment section below. If you haven't done a Jack and Jill competition, I will tell you, it is one of the fastest ways to accelerate your social dancing skills. Sometimes you just need a kick to make yourself go a little bit harder and try a little bit uh, more to push yourself outside of your comfort zone. And of course, you can make goals and make promises to yourself at the beginning of the year, but a lot of times you just simply need to put yourself in an environment that is pressurized. And I will say being in front of an audience with a live band and, and lights and the internet's uh, permanent nature, it was a bit intimidating to do that. But I gotta tell you, something comes out of you if you do it. If you do it right and you have the right context on how you need to look at yourself and extract knowledge from your experience, it is one of the fastest ways to improve in your social dancing. So I would encourage you to do that. And if you guys need inspiration, check out some of my free courses below. Uh, I'm all about inspiration because of course I can motivate you, but my job is to inspire you so that you can motivate yourself. So check out some of those free courses below. They will help you uh, unlock your creativity as a social dancer. So guys, let me know what you think about this competition and who you thought was the winner in the comment section below. I look forward to hearing your thoughts. Take care.